Nerd Soul. Yeah, late LK at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of Dapio Dope. It is myself. Apparently, Nerd Soul Light is here, even supposed to, even though he's supposed to be eating some food right now. But we are joined all the time, always by the the incredibly talented Clement Bryan. What's up? Not much, man. How you doing? <laughs> Trying to get you pumped, <laughs> man. I, I'm, t- I'm I'm exhausted, man. Like literally, like for the last for the last since like Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, mm-hmm. Friday. I've been hitting. I've been like really working out hard. I bought a I bought some weights ah, last okay, like okay. so. I've been really been in the really land. like. I mean, I mean, it's the only thing that could really kind of helps quell my anxiety about a lot of the stuff right now so you know i've been like really hitting that really hard nice, and then just nice. work is work is work is work is work and then <laughs> um you know i've just been you know i've been researching a lot of stuff for upcoming stuff that i'm working on that i can't tell you online yet but <laughs> uh yeah as man, soon as you just, can i mean i can tell you offline but like yeah it's like it's a uh, Things are crazy, so I'm just trying to, you know, stay focused. But yeah, man, like, you know, I woke up this morning, I worked out for like 20 minutes, and then I came, then I went back to sleep, and then woke up again, (laughs) and did it again for 20 minutes, and I fell back asleep. I woke up at like 5 a.m. because 5 a.m. workouts are are like, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, but like supposed to be (laughs) supposed to be, but like 5 a.m. I mean, no man, I've been I've been it's I've like been eating five. a lot. I've been eating <laughs> a lot, trying to put on muscle, man. I like I gotta hit like over three thousand calories a day. Like right, I'm on okay, I'm okay. on I'm on that you. muscle joint. So I see you, I see you. All right, cool. So I'm, cool. I'm tired and I'm exhausted and socially helping. So All right. Understood. So Yeah. Since you're nice and tired, <laughs> let's go in and get into uh some people that are probably going to be tired of social media pretty soon. Oh, I mean, tired. I mean, as they should be. Yeah, as they should be. So um, I'm going to go in and start it off with a story that I found out about maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes before this, um, which is Cameron Stewart um, and Warren Ellis of comic book creation fame. Um, came across my desk that they have been accused of grooming young girls into sexual situations. Uh, It first started off, uh, you had, um, what is it? Uh, Cameron Stewart, uh, there was a user that said, hey, that post about being groomed as a teenager, I'm talking about Cameron Stewart, the comic book artist. We met when I was 16. He was in his 30s, maybe 32. It was 2009. She continues mm. on and lays out kind of like how he rolls, how he how she's seen him roll, things of that nature. And then also the the idea of kind of not really being sure about what to do because of, you know, of course, the connections you have, you know, relationship connections that people can like, you know, refer you to and, you know, it can help or hinder jobs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that starts to catch traction. And later on, right. somebody brings up Warren Ellis, um, another another uh, user, because I don't want to put her out there, but says, I stand in solidarity with a certain user. Uh, my Me Too story of Warren Ellis is backed up with an archive of hundreds of emails and photos and spans years. We were prey yet and didn't know it because we were so, so young. Um, yeah. And that that's something I want to speak to because it's true there's a lot of cases when unfortunately you know you're you know like you're like oh this person is awesome and i'm getting you know one-on-one time with this person and little do you know it's some predatory stuff now yeah before before you know cameron stewart come in here trying to you know block my video or something this is still alleged but it ain't looking good because we ain't seen no statements we Usually, if someone was if someone was a flat out lie, you would see a quick statement saying 
this is untrue. I can prove it's untrue. It's not right. This ain't me. I didn't do it. We ain't heard nothing. All we have seen is his account get locked and blocked from anyone who isn't already following him or whatever. See, but here's the thing. It's, not here's a good, the thing. it's like Russell Simmons moving to Bali or something. See, here's <laughs> the thing. What can you say? It's different Ooh. from saying one person has an opinion because then, and I'm not in, no way am I condoning what either Warren um, or Cameron did. Oh man, there's some stuff popping off on Twitter right now with Chris, Chris Delia. Um, oh, we'll, we'll get, get into that, that in, a second. in a minute. <laughs> but, but like, you know, it's one, it's like one person can say something, but then you have, you know, the waterfall maybe that's the wrong word you just have just everyone saying oh this happened to me this happened to me and like there is nothing to say you shouldn't be doing you, should, you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing the stuff in the first place shouldn't be doing yeah. it in the first place like yeah. let's just say that Let, let's call a spade what a spade is you shouldn't be doing this joint this stuff in the first place and i'm yeah. not gonna i'm trying not to curse because you got a little man right there yeah and i, I <laughs> just in case he, he hears some ricochets or whatever out of small, your head but piece. like <laughs> but like you shouldn't be doing this in the first place. There's no excuse for it. There's nothing that you can say that is, oh, well, I didn't know what I was doing. Bro, you damn well did know. You know what yeah, you were doing. You, you knew. knew. And, and and for the fact of him to quickly just lock his Twitter accounts, lock his, lock his uh, Instagram accounts, it says all look. you need to say. Yeah, it, it says all you need to hear from him. Um, it's... It's like it, it, it's and, crazy and, and for me, and for sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I was nah, just gonna nah, go be ahead. like, I was gonna say like when you have the wife of Darwin Cook coming out and saying stuff against you, you know you done messed up. I mean, he messed up regardless, <laughs> but like true, true. I think her coming out also uh, not out, but like kind of backing up a lot of the stories. Yeah. Sorry, this 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 like this news was brand new to me right when we when we started. Yeah, and it was like, it was we, new like a like, little bit before we got on. Like so, like and a lot of me, a lot of what I'm saying is very visceral, and I and I apologize if it comes off like that. But it's like if she if you if she's backing people, you know that a lot of people knew what was going on. Yeah, and, and I feel it really kinda... bad for those girls for those girls and women that went through this stuff. You shouldn't be doing that joint in the first place. Yeah, and it's. It goes back to, I mean, of course, you know, there's a there's a system of people that stayed silent and a system of people that didn't do anything and saw stuff or whatever. I understand that. But why can't you just go to work and work? Why can't, mm -hmm. why can't all right, so if you're a comic book artist, why can't you just go to work and comic book art? Why can't you just do that? Like, like you're doing everything but what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be drawing, right? Draw. Why draw. Are you grooming? <laughs> why are you grooming women to sleep? Right. Well, sorry, grooming girls to sleep with them. Right. You ain't supposed and to be doing that. No, and like, it's just like do your job. If you literally like, did what you were supposed to be doing, you would not be in trouble right now. Just do your job. Honestly, clock in your hours. Do your yeah. job. To in in your artist. Do your commissions. Do your write your comic books. Draw your comic books. Whatever it have it be. Yeah. You know, if you if you want to go out, you know, after COVID's over with, and you know, you know, go go to mixers or whatever and associate with cool people. Fine. But after that, after you go step above that and doing what you're doing and what these cats have been doing, it ain't cool. It's not cool. It's not a good look. And honestly, yeah. you. Honestly, if you have kids, what are your message are you sending to the kids if you knew it? And I don't know if yeah. Warren has kids. I don't know if Cameron has kids, but that is not what you do. Nah. That is not what you do. Even even to a further point when it comes to uh some of the people responding, I saw I saw a couple of responses. One stuck out to me saying, um, I loved Warren Ellis's run on Moon Knight, you know, don't ruin this for me. And it's like Yeah. I saw and that like, too. Like nobody's ruining anything. Moon Knight still exists. Right. Nobody is burning that comic book. It's not gone from existence. The person that made it is a bad person. Right. It doesn't. You can still read and enjoy that story, 
but you like, don't need to be supporting that person any further. Right. That comic book is already bought. You can't unbuy that comic book. So right. He done and already for got me, that it's money. like right. And for me, like Warren Ellis, I love the extremist arc that he did for Iron Man. I was always oh, yeah, yeah. but what and honestly, I liked his stuff all the way up to this moment. Because yeah. now even, that even his current me. running yeah. um the Castlevania anime. That's like right. that's like dang man, you know what I'm saying? Well like like it's bad. like and it's like and it's like yeah, I might still like those things, but you can't excuse what the action was. Nah. I think I think since war, the whole Warren Ellis situation is still developing, I wanna see where that goes. But like I said, there's no excusing it for either him or Cameron. Nah, not at all. And like, this idea that this ruins some piece of art, it's like, no, it doesn't ruin the piece of art. Just don't support him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's just like, it's to me, to me, man, it's just, it's like, it's like you work, it, it's, it's like you work hard to get in the industry. You gain a following. People like your stuff. You work hard. You make industry friends. You make cool people friends. You meet cool people. You you know if you met, if you somehow get out of from comics to TV, from TV to film, you've already you kind of broken into different industries. But like you're saying, you can't just do that. You gotta hurt people along the way and mess with people. It's not it's not great. And it, it furthers this idea that. People are getting into the industry literally just to utilize that power in a way that we all know is toxic. And we all see, you know what I'm saying, from time to time, you know what I'm saying? And that's all they want it for. They don't want it to actually right. enjoy the art or create the art. It's all about, it's all about how can I use this position to do something else? And it just, it messes up the industry for everybody because yeah. it makes young girls and young women leery of entering the industry. We need them in the industry. Why? Because they probably got some cool ideas for a dope story that you want to read or want some cool drawings. And it makes men leery of dealing with either a each other or dealing with women that might be you know, or young girls that might be on the come up and about to make something dope. Because now there's this idea of I don't want to be Warren Ellis. You know, I don't want to be this. And it's like, I understand that kind of, that kind of vibe. But then I yeah. also, I also realize that you've got to figure out a way to push past it in a very public setting to make sure that you're still able to work with, you know, even if, if even if someone's a minor work in a way where maybe their their guardian is present or mm -hmm. something to that something to that extent or work with you know other women in a way where it's it where people can feel safe and then they don't have to feel preyed upon and then you don't have to feel like oh someone's going to be calling me a cameron stewart out of this because i've seen a lot of people in similar situations in other industries say well I'm not working with women because such and such and such. And it's like, well, no, that, that's not the answer. It's either. totally wrong. That's, that's not the answer. The answer <laughs> is, the, answer the, answer, the short answer is, don't be a, don't be a damn creep. Don't be a yeah. damn creep. And that, like, for, that, that's the PC version of it. Yeah, that's, like, just don't be a creep. And I know there's people that are going to say, well, what about um, false accusations? And I'm like, yes, false accusations do exist. I'm not saying they don't before you even get right. started. But... What I'm saying is we can all figure out ways as an industry to create spaces where you can mentor someone. Maybe it's, maybe it's, you know, mentoring can only happen in open areas, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, something where you can still mentor and you don't have the, the BS excuse of, well, I'm not mentoring any women because I don't want to be one. And what you're really saying is I'm angry because my favorite XYZ got outed. So now I'm going to use my only personal power I have to hold it against women. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, right. When it doesn't have to be that way. We can, we can kind of like manipulate and maneuver and redesign our 
corporate engagements or, you know, I mean, because, you know, DC is a corporation of Marvel, even though they're kind of independent contractors, but we can redesign our workplaces where you can still kind of like mentor women, be around women and stuff like that without having the opportunity or as many opportunities because this stuff will always be around. But right. kind of like you're trying to you're trying to slow it down. <laughs> we know we can't right. kill it. We can't stop it. But we're trying to slow it down. And so because I saw some uh, some responses to workplace issues like this, not to this situation, but to similar situations. And so right. since I know that's probably going to come down the pike of someone saying, well, in the comic book industry, men should just not help women out. And this is like, no, that's not the that's answer. That's not the either. answer. <laughs> and that's not the and honestly, either. and I want to rescind something like I like I thought the whole Warren Ellis thing had just like happened right before we got on. No, this is happening like pretty much since like earlier earlier yet earlier today. But like, man, this is just like I'm like while you're while you've been talking, I've just been like doing research because like I said, like this is like all brand new to me. And like as someone who was a Warren Ellis fan, especially for his runs, I yeah, I'm blown, but I'm also like. That this, this is not cool, man. This is this. It's just yeah. there's no excuse, and it's not. It's not. It's not cool. And like and like you're saying, running off women isn't the answer, because yeah, honestly, answer some either. of the some of the best comics that I've read have been from women. Yeah, it's like, and the only thing that it makes me like, think about now is how many people were probably either a turned off or or completely blocked by these guys. That, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know what right. stories could have come or what, you know, art or whatever, whether it's TV, comic books, whatever, what has been black? Now, of course, that's a hypothetical route. and But you, it kind of makes me wonder every like, now and then, like, well, what's been blocked because of this? You know, what's been stopped? Yeah. What have we as, you know, lovers of the medium, whether it's, you know, whether it's uh, television, film, or comic books, you know, novels, whatever, what have we missed out on because of stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? But they're not the only people that got in trouble. We missed someone recently. <laughs> so Chris uh, Delia, I'm like trying I'm trying to well, there's someone else that we have to talk about. Well, yeah. Um but Chris Delia, all the now the Chris Delia stuff is like brand new. Like wow. apparently apparently he everyone's accusing him of being a pedophile. Ooh. So that's what that's Ooh. what it looks like. I, I can't find I'm trying to find like a news source, but like he's trending on Twitter right now. And a lot Ooh. of the comments are not good. And it's 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 kind of ironic Ooh. because he actually played um a pedophilic like character in the second season of you. So I'm like Oh word. See, I've remember? never watched that show you. I've never watched Oh, you it. should Okay, you should watch you. I, I've like, heard it was kind of crazy, so I was like, I don't know if I should it, watch it. It, it. it is crazy, but you shouldn't <laughs> watch it when Little Man is around. I'll say that oh, okay, much. Okay. Don't watch it when Little Man's around. Um, gotcha. Like, watch it, like, with your wife, like, or something, like, at night once he's going to bed. Because it is crazy, but, like, yeah, man, this Chris uh, situation isn't isn't great. Yeah, he, um, he trended right now, and it's not looking good. It's not good. Um, and... And then, and then on the situation, not to like, not to like, you know, step over the Chris Delia situation, but we also have Harley Sawyer that you know came up last week, late last week, and you know I covered this in the Black Lightning podcast, but man, Harley Sawyer, man, I would, I I think I like I was more blown about that than I was Warren Ellis because I was really really starting to like Ralph Dead Me in the in in the, in, in the show. And I was yeah, really looking man. forward to seeing like what, um, what he was, what his character was going to be in season seven. Now that they brought Sue Didney into the fold, and you know, <laughs> in the comics, Sue and Ralph they get married and blah blah blah. And you know, so you have that situation in the comics. And so I was really looking forward to that because I really liked the way that the characters work together in the show. And then I <sighs> saw that, that and now, I was like, you? no. <laughs> but at the same time, again, do your work. Focus on the work, yeah, focus it, on the craft, don't be a creep. Yeah, and it's here's here's the thing what got me about him. You know, on one hand, one could say, hey, these tweets are old. You know what I'm saying? But 
we weren't able to uncover, like if somebody was able to uncover for me a p time between then and now, where he said, yo, you know what y'all? I was stupid and I was tripping. I should have never said that stuff. I don't roll like that no more. None of that came up. <laughs> Which means and that yeah. apparently he just kept rolling with it because, you know, it he was fine with it. And we did get a we did get a statement and an apology from him after. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah. But some would say that's too little too late. And honestly, and I'm like, and and I think the thing that I think about that comes up with with Hartley is I think about Andrew Kreisberg and what happened with Andrew Kreisberg back in the day. Because Ooh, okay, and to me, number one, knowing that you're already stepping into a show that has a history of dealing with people like that, one, yeah. you need to check your social media profiles. Two. Who was his publicist and who was his manager? Three, uh, you know, in the social media age, you can be canceled. You can lose your job for anything. You can be canceled. Okay, this might this might be exaggerating, but you can be canceled for, and you know, lose your job for like a pineapples on pizza. Yeah. Okay. Crazy, crazy thing. But in this age of social media, yeah. my point is, you, you like you better be saying stuff that's on the up and up, and you better believe in it. And so. You know, and let's not forget the fact that the showrunner of The Flash is black. And he's been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes and on screen to one, show that there's unity of the cast behind the screen, but also two, enriching the storyline. He's been making a lot of changes and I'll say it for the good because like, I'll say it, I fell off in season, like late season four, season five, I still watched, but I wasn't into it. I'm in the season yeah. six. But now I kind of fell off kinda like, after the Savitar. When Savitar happened, I was like, "Man, come on, man! I can't come on." No, I mean, man. I I fell I fell off after uh, Devoe. Like the the Devoe okay. was like the the, the, the uh, I Devoe remember him a little bit. Of, yeah, the thinker. They do it on the big chair. Yeah, um, he had the chair. But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the chair. Kendrick Sampson was on it, so I was like, um, so I was like, you know, that that story, that arc was kind of like up and down and crazy but like i but i digress but you know when harley came on i was like i didn't like him i didn't like him at all and i was like okay i want to give this guy a chance <laughs> and then surprisingly they reworked the character a little bit and made him more like one i was like okay this is what i can get down with but now you're proving yourself to one you know and if you do believe that i hope he does get uh, if he if he truly has reformed since he put that stuff out, I hope he gets roles. But I'm also wondering: is has he reformed for trying to get a new job, or has he actually made yeah. a concerted effort to reform? And see, that's the reason that a lot of people, like myself, need to see that tweet where it's like, "Yo, I was bugging, I was stupid, whatever." You know what I'm saying? Or I felt like this then, but I realized that was wrong. I'm different now. I don't do that. I don't roll like that you know, whatever, between then and when you get caught, because now the statement after you get caught is basically just like, I don't want to lose my job. You right. Know what I'm saying? Or that's at least how it comes off. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? It, it's one of those things where, hey, I hope he's not that person anymore, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that he got fired. I'm not surprised that this stuff came out. Unfortunately, this stuff doesn't surprise me no more. It should, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, and like, and honestly, I'm like, I'm not sure what was going through Hartley's mind because, like, I made this point of, you know, before before the Flash, before he came on the Flash, no one knew who he was. Mm. No one, he, yeah, there yeah, was that he there was not a lot of attention around Hartley's story. And I remember, maybe I'm wrong, but I remember seeing one of his arguments being or. What I'm saying is, like, he was just saying stuff to try to get clout at the time because he was trying to get roles. He was trying to get a reaction. I think kind of like the whole shock tower response. If I'm, if I'm, yeah, don't quote me on that. I remember seeing part to, of that. And to the credit still, of that statement, there was a period of time in the early, in the late '90s, early 2000s, where people were doing this kind of like, it's funny because it's offensive. 
Um, right. Kind of like born out of like um, Family Guy and like South right. Park kind of like born out right. of that energy. Right. Um, so not to say Which that even then. that doesn't exist, but you know, it, you know, times move on, things change. Things and, change, you know, views is, change, and like, and yeah. honestly, the day that he got that role, he should have been like, hire someone to scrub his social media accounts because yeah, you know that's going to come out. Yeah, find it. Find so the I stuff. Can delete it. Delete it. And um, get rid of it. You know, it. But even then, deleting it. I hope his views have changed. I hope he doesn't believe it. Yeah. It's one thing to delete it and be like, I've changed and show that you have actually changed over yeah. the course since those tweets have been deleted or were going to be deleted versus deleting them being like same, he's having the same old damn views two, three, five years later when you're actually, you know, the basically one of the leads of the show. Yeah, he's kind of like, because now the way that show is, it's kind of like an ensemble cast where right. I would say there's too many ki- cooks in the kitchen, but I don't watch it anymore, so I let people enjoy it. Um, but, you know, there's Fair. way too many too many leads in that show right now. But, you know, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he's a different changed man. But once again, unfortunately, I'm not surprised. Um, I did want to uh, talk about the young lady um uh toyin and i do not want to screw up her name i just know it's justice for toyin yes i'm ready yes so justin for toy justice for toyin i wanted to speak about that because it's kind of one of those heartbreaking things and (sighs) it hurts because not only did this happen but it happens right after she opens up about her own abuse super recently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but knowing the knowing the kind of like the the vulnerability that happens when you're like, hey, I was abused. Regardless of how mm-hmm. it was, I was abused. Being able to be like, okay, I'm gonna come out and say this. But then what happened to her right after it? Well, maybe not right after, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's it's crushing and it's hurtful. And I haven't seen any new updates on if they've found who did this. But I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything new. Um, yeah, because I haven't seen anything it. new on, you know, anyone being arrested yet. Yeah. I haven't seen anything and yeah man it's just it's it's sad man it's like you know we talk about justice for toyin but also brianna taylor still we don't have um you know just for her you know some some dudes have been caught have been have been you know hanging from trees as suicides quote unquote suicides um, yeah. and we, and like, what are they, let's be honest. They're not, not all of them. They're not suicides. They're none not. of them are so, suicides. None <laughs> of them are. So like, I just like, and I'm, and I'm not trying. And when I bring up other ones, I'm not trying to overlook Toyin at all. It's just kind of like, no. it's just like, it's like when you see just the quote, the, the cycle of bad news. This yeah, happens. Yeah. This happens. This happens. This happens. And and because and, you have these hangings and these lynchings going on, then the then the police violence, then yeah. the the basic everyday citizens that have something to do to or against black people, mm-hmm. then you have toying. Then it's it's like it's there's so much that is just it's always it's it's beating you down. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really it, it's really just breaking you over and over and over to it's like we can't catch a break, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Seeing how vibrant she was, how passionate she was, mm-hmm. and then hearing her be vulnerable enough to say this happened to me. And not only did this happen to me, this happened to me like 
I think she said this morning or yesterday, it, it was super recent. And then for her to end up dead, most likely behind that, um, or behind someone who, you know, tangentially involved in that, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's tough. And it's sad, man. Like there was, a, there was, um, there was another girl who, um, I sorry, if her name escapes me right now, but like. Um, over the weekend, she had just graduated from high school, just just fresh out of high school, and this happened in Ohio. And she's just driving, and she's at a stoplight. Some dude opens up, you know, bullets on her, and just I just it it's it's getting to a point to me where I just I can't I can't bear to look at social anymore, and not because yeah. I'm trying to ignore it. And I'm not, I'm trying to act like, you know, all happy and just continue the vibe or whatever. It's more of how many more people need to lose their lives for this change to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, and because... we, and we, we've already had, like I said, we had Brian Taylor, we had Ahmaud Arbery, um, it, and we had Rashad, uh, Rashad Brooks. And I'm just kind of yeah. like, I'm just getting to a point where I'm just like, dang, like, and I had to tell my the boss this morning. I had to one of my bosses this morning. Experiencing this itself. Like, oh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, and I was talking to my boss, and for the first time in a long time, I was, I was like kind of vulnerable about it because I'm, you know, trying to tell your boss. I mean, it's like, but she was, she was like, she's like, hey, if you need to take a break, it's if you need to take a mental break today, it's cool. And I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta do stuff. I gotta keep my, you know, I was hired for a reason, whatever, not to bring my work into it, but like, I really appreciated that she allowed me that that lot yeah. to be able to talk about it but like i just i even when i talk to you about it i can't find the words because i'm like I, it's it, it I, it's its own it's weird yeah experiencing it's, this as viscerally and as visually as it is it's its own form of mental trauma you know what i'm saying yeah. because it's like it's like this happens to all right so at least most recently we have Ahmad Arbery. Let's lift up his mm-hmm. name. Let's shout for him. Let's make sure his presence is known. Let's not forget him. Then Brianna. Let's lift up her name. Let's do. Th- then George Floyd. Let's lift up his name. Then and, and then uh, Manuel Ellis. Let's lift up his name. Then Toyin. Then the, and then you know and then these people that are committing suicide. Let's lift up their name. And it's like on and on and on. And it's like. You, we're not getting a reprieve that we need mentally to stop seeing people like us ending up dead, especially during such a such a short period of time. Yeah, and I think um, and I think and, and this think is in addition to the like, brutality, like the people that are and, still alive but just getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? Right, and is in in not to mention we in you know George Floyd you know and you know like yeah and so i think i kind of want to like end on a happier note but like it's just it's getting to a point where i'm just kind of like man this is like this this is insane and yeah i think the last time i remember something like this was like the like the summer 2014 when like it was like every week there was someone now it just seemed like every day yeah and it's you know, to, you know, rest in peace, power, love to Toyin because she ain't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? 19, 18, 19? Come on, man. 18, 19? I mean, she already didn't deserve to be treated how she was when she was, you know, when she was assaulted. Yeah. And then this it is just, we are all hurting a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know, it's it's one of those things where you know if you're if you're watching this right now, we understand all the and then yeah. and then the countless names that we'll never hear because they weren't you know uh, you know they they weren't known enough or it was in a small town or or whatever what have you you know it's saying it's just the only thing I can say is just do what you got to do yeah. to take your break to get your rest to get your mind right. Because, you know, following this stuff is not as easy, you know, as one would think. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and it's it's hurtful, man. It's definitely hurtful just seeing that, you know, like uh kind of like that statement, skin folk ain't kin folk. Because uh-huh. we're getting it from we're getting it from the police, we're getting it from everyday, you know, like white citizens or whatever. And then to hear what happened to Toyin, you know, from our well, I can't even say our own. If you're doing that, you're not our own. You know what I'm saying? Skin folk ain't kin folk. So in this case, that's not our own. You know what I'm saying? No, no, like I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Many brothers and sisters out here would not do that. So it, it's just like, when do we get to just be? You know what I'm saying? When right. do we get to let our guards down and just relax? When when can we when can we be happy? When can we laugh? When can we have some joy? And I know we're coming up on time, and I know that's not a fun way to end the show. No, but, we got some good news to talk about. Like, but yeah, it's just yeah. like it it it's it's getting it's getting to a point where it's just it's unimaginable. And like protests are still happening, yeah. still happening. Yeah. Um, and and it's it's interesting how it's like. How we've had i don't want to say successes but we've had some change happen already yes yeah, some movement things contain we've had some movement but things continue just to kind of you know we're hurt we're hurting man and, and like and you know robert fuller it, i just like i said i can't find the words anymore because i have no more words to say yeah i'm just i'm, I'm mad i'm hurt and i'm kind of like and even to a point like it makes me think like it makes me reconsider having kids. I mean, I know you can't think yeah. about that right now because you have a yeah, little, I know. but I, like yeah, I know what you but I know what you mean though. I, but I but like I'm like I'm like I'm like you know, I've always wanted kids and me and my girlfriend are talking about having kids, you know. But now I'm like, do I wanna bring in a child to this world for a fear of one day losing them? Not because not because of any fault of their own when they get older drinking driving whatever but because yeah. some dumb stuff happened because racism kkk yeah oh well you know all the karens driving while black walking while black barking while black talking on a cell phone while black going shopping and target while black it's just, just like just we existing. cannot do Being just existing while, while black. black you know what I mean? just, just like literally walking existing. on the sidewalk while black like like driving with a mask on while black and it's just kind of like it's gonna tell him like you know what i'm gonna stay home i'm gonna be a hermit and i'm not gonna go anywhere for fear of losing my life and it's just kind of like yo and that and i, I get that do? feeling sometimes like i i get that feeling sometimes where it's like yo i don't even want to go outside i get that feeling sometimes like for real like I, i'll be like yo i don't want to go nowhere and so I, I don't know man i'm just gonna like but yeah, man. Let's talk about let's uh, let's move off the negativity because I know we kind of opened hard and we yeah. kept on going hard. But yeah. so so let's DC let's fandom. have let's have a, a little a little good news before we get out. So DC <laughs> fandom. So it looks like DC's doing this cool joint where they're going to uh, have your their own little mini Comic Con online, which yes. looks great. Um, and so they're going to be having announcements about all their films. Uh, TV shows, games, comic books. It looks like it's going to be really cool. Uh, Suicide yeah, Squad is going to have reveals. Like, I saw James Gunn posted about something with Suicide Squad today. <laughs> Black Lighting posted about it. I'm uh, like, this looks like it's going to be really cool. It's going to be uh, August 22nd, I think. Um, okay, of, okay. Of later this year. So I'm like, I'm really for- looking forward to it. I think that's really cool that they're doing an activation like that, considering what's going on with COVID right now. Yeah. It's really then, cool, man. Margaret, like, yeah. Um, another thing is, since they have the AT and T hookup, you know what I'm saying? This should <laughs> this should roll extremely well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With, between yeah. you know the news for Lucifer, Wonder Woman, you know, I'm really, I really want to see how this whole Doom Patrol season two rolls out. Um, yeah, Doom Patrol. Said, Doom Patrol. That's uh, that's next week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Twenty four. Yeah. Even though, even mm. though, I'm kind of mad it went to HBO Max, but I understand why. 
You know, what I mean, it's still going to be on DC Universe. I think it's still going to yeah. be on DC Universe. But like, I <laughs> let's be honest, HBO Max. We talked about it earlier. Yeah. We see the confusion of it. Like we talked, we talked about this like last year, I think, mm-hmm. before 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 our New Year's. But like calling it HBO Max, it's like you have HBO Now, you have HBO, then you have HBO Go, then you have HBO Max. It's kind of <laughs> like people are already going to be confused. And like it's interesting because I was having a conversation with um, some other marketing folk, and I was like about you know the legitimacy, le- le- like Nately like legitimately naming it hbo max i was like they probably should have gone with something else something different than hbo i get wanting to go with something premium to show the yeah. premium nature of the, of the service but they should have gone with something else because people have been complaining about i'm confused like where do i go for this where do i go for that where do i go for that instead of knowing that hey you can get the same stuff that you have on hbo go on an hbo on an hbo max so yeah. it's been it's been confusing but that's besides the point but like i will say a lot of stuff that DC is doing is really cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing the fandom thing. And they're going to talk about the Snyder Cut too. Yeah, which is so, which is more than the Snyder Cut HBO now, Max. because now that we know more right. about the Snyder Cut, it's not even really the Snyder Cut anymore. It's a brand new thing. Like this is like this isn't like him just taking what happened in the movie. Like they're making this like a thing. Like. It, yeah. shooting brand new stuff is like so this is this is like the snyder cut plus i don't know <laughs> yeah but yeah hopefully we'll be able to get to see some cool stuff it'll be some stuff that dc fans can you know enjoy have a good time looking at and with them going from like the kids verse and the the watch verse and all the different verses um let me show I'm, this light real quick you can get in dark i'm open i'm open for it you know what i'm saying i'm i'm open for it um, oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing like what happens, especially after like uh, what is it? Um, uh, what is it? PlayStation's PlayStation's event. You know what I'm saying? So since oh, PlayStation's yeah. event, you know that went off. What I would consider pretty well. I mean, they didn't give us a really price. well. Um, but no, they, didn't. <laughs> that's, they didn't give us a price. I mean, but... I knew they weren't going to though because they know <laughs> they know that they like like they got people interested. They got people hooked. You don't want to kind of like destroy the vibe with oh this cup is going to be six ninety nine when it comes out. Yeah, I'm just saying like that's not the that's not the price. This is going like, to be extremely expensive. Yeah, <laughs> and, but like yo, what I like literally, I was in a meeting on Zoom, and then I come back, and everybody's miles is trending, and I everyone was like, what happened yep. with miles? Did Shamik get fired? I was like. <laughs> <laughs> you you know what I'm talking about, yeah. And I know. so I was like, I was like, please. I was like, oh, what happened with Shamik? And then everybody was just freaking out about Miles Morales game. And I was like, yes. And he's got a shape up. Let's <laughs> talk about that. He's got a shape up. Shape Yo, up but he was, had the Sherling like, coat though. He was. I was like, oh, I mean, the, he... I, mean I mean, my boy, my boy, my boy. The first Spider-Man game, his it, the joint looked like like looked look like a Brello pad, right? Yeah, so, but now was, I'm cool. With, I'm cool with the, I was cool with the naughty fro. You know what I'm saying? I was cool with that. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm down with that. I mean, really? That he's he's a yeah. I was I'm cool with the naughty fro. I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? But now you know he's a little older. He got he got he was like you know got got a little hook up. Got his line. He got the light up. And you know I shouldn't be talking because I got to get my barber joint. I got to get my barber <laughs> because my joint is long. I feel like the Wolf Man, whatever. But like, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, like that Miles game looks super legit. Yeah, but I'm really excited to see where they go. I'm, with a, it. I'm going to keep it real. I'm PC for life. I, I ain't messing with them anyway. But <laughs> what? Well, whoa, whoa, whoa! I, but I do, I do like the way the game looks. <laughs> Wait, you throwing shade against the PS5 and the PS4? I, I ain't messing. I ain't messing with the four, the five, the six. I ain't messing with Xbox. Uh, I ain't messing with. Nothing. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get unless you right. Unless there's some crossplay, right. unless there's, unless there's some crossplay, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Nerd soul, y'all can find me up there. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, bruh. Wait, did you play Fallen Order? Um, no, no, never played that. Like I've okay. seen it, but I've never played. You gotta play Fallen Order. You gotta play it, whether right, you're PC works. or Mac or 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 uh, or PS4. I'm not gonna mention <laughs> Xbox, but no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Man. Cold. 
<laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even kidding. gonna mention I'm Xbox. Kidding. I, I'm Microsoft, kidding, I'm Microsoft kidding, trying. Kidding. They doing a little something. And um, nah, nah. Like Microsoft, Microsoft, a- Xbox has been bringing like Halo was dope. Game, um, Gears of War was really dope. I'm yeah, not mad yeah. at Destiny. I mean, I but mm. Destiny's also on PlayStation, I think. But like, you know, but I need my to get first back interaction with Destiny was, too. But Destiny was like my first get one of my first games on Xbox because I played uh. on 360. So, um, but yeah, man, like you know. I just I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have to do with the PS5. But man, those memes that hit afterwards, people were like, "Yo, what is? Why does this design look like this?" People, why does it look people like always want to be people always want to be the first to clown. Let let it live, man. Let I mean, live. I was like, how, I was okay how, with it. I <laughs> I, mean, I was okay with it, but I was like, I mean, I to me it looked like it looked like a new version of Stark Tower, but like <laughs> like a mini version of Stark Tower, like it's like one of those three versions that's like. You see, like, like a scale model. Oh was yeah! Before they built it, it's gonna be, they're going to build a campus around this, right? And then my boy was like, "No, that's Wayland Tech." I was like, "Like Prometheus." Oh, I was like, "Oh, that Wayland <laughs> Tech like, oh. boy." I was like, "I was like, oh, mm. that's, that's low." That's that, that. I was like, "That's low, bro. It's kind of low." Oh man! But, so see, we yeah. we we got it good. We got the energies up. So guys, thank you for. Hanging with us through some some serious stuff, some rough stuff, and wait, hold, some happy stuff. hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Zack Snyder, thirty-two seconds ago, just tweeted about the fandom experience. Oh, what did he say? He just said, "I'll see you in the dome." Oh, okay, okay. Snyder right. cut with with the I, Snyder I, I cut thing. Dro- I thought he dropped like, something. I was like, "All right, hold up." <laughs> no, but you know he's about to. You know he's about to. If he tweeted, I, yo. But I sorry, hope, I didn't mean to interrupt. I hope for his sake that is good. That's all I can say. Cause they, Ooh. here's the thing, they have been so rabid about that Snyder cut. Yes, if that right. joint is not, if that joint is not objectively like an eight out of ten, it might not be a good look for them. That's all I can say. <laughs> but Ooh. before we get out of here, <laughs> Clement Bryant, tell them where they can find you. <laughs> you know me. You can find me uh, Twitter and Instagram at Clement Bryant. Just chilling. Uh, you know, not doing much. Talking about marketing. Talking talk about, about marketing. social media. I mean, you know, I talk about marketing all the dang time. Um, you know, trying not to get canceled. Um, but <laughs> you know, that's me. Where you can find me there. What up? What up? Of course, N E R D S O U L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all them places. Uh, podcast, Spotify for music, everything. YouTube is the main hub. Holla at me. We can talk hip hop. We can talk geek. It's all good. Thank you for coming through. From us to you. Until next time, we're just saying peace. Peace. Ah, uh, yeah.